صلوا على الحبيب صلى الله تعالى على محمد صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم شراغ امت سيدنا ابو الحسن علی امام زین العابدین رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ is the fourth امام and شیخ of the سلسلہ آلیہ قادریہ رضویہ he was one of the greatest عابدز of his era امام زہری رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ says in my era I have not seen any قرآش more excellent than امام زین العابدین رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ حتی ابن عباس رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ used to look at امام زین العابدین and refer to him as the beloved of the beloved. Imam Zainul Abideen was born on a Thursday, the 5th of Sha'ban, 38 Hijri in Madinatul Munawwara. Hati Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhu kept most of his children's names attached to the name Ali. This was due to his love for his father, Sayyidina Ali karramallahu ta'ala wajhahu al-kareem. Imam Zainul Abideen was also named as Ali. Imam Zain al-Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu was also known as Abu Muhammad, Abu al-Hasan, Abu al-Qasim and Abu Bakr. His titles were Sajjad, Zain al-Abideen, Sayyid al-Abideen and Ameen. Hati Imam Zain al-Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu was blessed with a beautiful character which he definitely inherited from his illustrious forefathers. He was very eloquent and very respectful. He was always willing to assist those in need. Umar Abu Nasr writes that Imam Zain al-Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu purchased many slaves and then set them free. He would be kind even to those who were his personal enemies. Once he heard that there was a certain person who always spoke ill of him. Hata Imam Zain al-Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu went to him and treated him with such respect and kindness that he repented from his bad behavior and affiliated himself to the great Imam. Many great poets have written numerous qasidas in praise of his kindness and generosity. Hata Imam Zain al-Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu was always prepared to sacrifice everything he had for Islam. He sacrificed all his wealth twice for Islam. He was a very generous person. He used to discreetly send money to the poor people living in Medina Sharif and none of them knew that the money was coming from him. The only time this became known to him was after he passed away. After the shahadat of his blessed father, Imam Hussain radiallahu ta'ala anhu, Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu completely divorced himself from the materialistic world. He spent all his time in the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. He would pass his days and nights thinking of the tragedy of Karbala and weeping. When Hadrat Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu used to sit down to perform wudu, then his face would become pale. When he stood up for namaz, then his complexion would change to such an extent that it would be difficult to recognize him. The people would ask, O oh, beloved of the Prophet wasallam, what has happened to you? And he would say, O oh, people, namaz is the time when you are present in the court of Allah Jal. Who is so naive as to smile and look happy when he is standing before his creator? Allahu Akbar. Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu used to perform 1,000 rakat of nafil salah every night. One night, while he was performing his nawafil, his house got on fire. The people were rushing around trying to put out the fire, but he continued his namaz with total sincerity. After he completed his salah, the people told him that his house had got on fire and yet he continued reading the namaz without showing any sign of panic. Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, you were trying to extinguish the fire of this world and I was trying to extinguish the fire of the hereafter. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu was a personality who truly feared Allah Azza wa Jal. His heart flowed with the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. Once during Hajj, 
he tied his ihram but did not say the labbaik. The people asked him, what is the reason for this? And Imam Zain al-Abideen radiallahu said, I fear that I will say labbaik and Allah Azza wa Jal will reply, I do not accept your presence. The people then told him that his ihram would not be proper if he did not say labbaik. He then said labbaik and began to tremble in the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal until he fell off his camel and became unconscious. This continued throughout the Hajj. Every time he said labbaik, Hurt Imam Jafar Sadiq says, when my grandfather, Hurt Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu, used to recite the Quran, then the beauty of his recitation attracted the people towards him and all those listening to him would become so overwhelmed with the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal that one did not know the condition of the other. Hadith Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu was given poison and was thus made shaheed on the 18th of Muharram al-Haram and according to some narrations on the 12th or the 22nd of Muharram at the age of 57 or 58. He passed away in Madinat al Munawwara and his Mazar Sharif is in Jannat al Baqi. After his Wisal, his camel placed his head on the Mazar Sharif and cried. The Imam Baqir tried to move it away, but it refused. In the end, he said, She will die in this exact place. Eventually, she did pass away at the Mazar of Imam Zainul Abideen. May Allah Azza wa Jal have mercy on him and forgive us without accountability for his sake. The karamat of Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu are numerous. But let me tell you two karamat. Incident during Hajj. Two people were making tawaf of the Kaaba and they came to Hajr Aswad. When they touched the Hajr Aswad, both their hands became stuck to it. People tried very hard to release their hands but it was not possible. At the Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu entered the haram whilst this was happening. He said, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, and then placed his hands on the Hajr Aswad. Immediately, the hands of both were released. A dear ones came to Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu while he was in the jungle. The animal fell to the ground and began to say something. Those with the Imam asked, what had happened? The Imam said that the deer was complaining about a man who captured her child. At the Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu summoned the man. The man brought with him the child belonging to the deer. Imam Zainul Abideen radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked him to release the deer which he gladly did. After some time, the deer took its young and said something and then left. Those present with the Imam were amazed and asked the Imam what the deer has said as she left. The Imam said, she said, Jazakallahu khaira fid darain. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alihi wa alihi wa sallam. We love Madani channel. We love Madani channel. We love Madani channel.